Why do some terrible memories become traumatic and others do not? Two people can go through something awful, yet only one develops trauma. And then someone else can experience something that seems less intense from the outside, but it becomes deeply traumatic for them. The difference comes down to how the brain stores the memory. Let me explain. When something emotionally painful happens, your brain sometimes pulls you out of the moment as protection. This can feel like dissociation or an out-of-body experience. In the short term, it protects you, but in the long term, it creates a problem. The memory becomes fragmented. It gets sliced into pieces instead of having a clear beginning, middle, and end. This is a simplified explanation, and of course there are other factors, but fragmentation is one of the biggest reasons a memory becomes traumatic. When the memory resurfaces, it moves toward the worst moment, and the brain suppresses it again because it is too overwhelming. The body learns to fear the memory itself. This is a form of Pavlovian conditioning. The memory becomes associated with danger, so the body reacts if the event is happening again. But when a terrible event does not become traumatic, the brain usually stays present enough to store the memory as a complete story, a clear beginning, middle, and end, no fragmentation. When the brain knows the event ended, the nervous system can return to safety. This is why so many therapeutic approaches focus on giving the memory a coherent sequence. EMDR helps the brain process the memory using bilateral stimulation. Narrative approaches help someone organize the experience into a clear story so that the body understands that the event is over. Other modalities use different methods, but the goal is the same. Integrate the memory. Give it an ending. So when something terrible happens and the person is able to process it fully, especially with a therapist, the memory is far less likely to become traumatic. A complete memory is really painful, but a fragmented memory is what becomes trauma.